knock out some holes on the bottom of this cabinet um, using the Greenlee uh, Hydraulic Knockout Punch Kit. Uh, so first what you do is get some tools together. You need something to uh, lay out your holes. So we've, we've picked this spot six inches in from the back, inch and a half down, center punch your spot. And then uh, start with a, a 3 8 drill bit. So we're going to come in, drill our 3 8 holes, and while we're drilling we're going to try to contain any chips or anything from the inside. You can do multiple ways. One way is to get a vacuum on the inside, uh, potentially uh, tape something on the inside to contain the chips, uh, magnets, some people use grease. So once you got your holes... The concern there is metal shavings with an electrical panel, yep. creating shorts. Yep. So here's our kit that we're going to start with. So it comes with a manual a manual section here, which you could use a wrench um, to draw those together, but fortunately we have the hydraulic add-on to it. Get everything out and laid out so it's ready to go. Because we drilled a 3 8 hole, we're going to start with, with this adapter shaft here, and we're going to start with, out of the four of these, this, the smallest one here uses the 3 8 thread. So this shaft here come into our cylinder here, and you thread that all the way in. So that's ready to go, and then we will need an additional spacer, which comes in three different lengths for extra options. That just slides on here. We have a cup, and then the cutting um, piece here. So we'll put the cup on, and this all stays on the outside of the cabinet, and then this will come on the inside of the cabinet, thread on, and then as we pump the jack, it will draw in and cut our holes. Like I said, we're just going to... You might want to um, drift that 3 8 or even go a little larger than 3 8 so yep. you don't ruin the threads on your uh, shaft there, right? Run the bit in there a little bit more than I did, I guess. Yep. And we just come in here and we thread this down to, her, to the cabinet. So I could have used a bigger spacer, but uh, it threads easy enough that I, I just do it this way. So now it's, now it's self-sustaining. So we'll close the valve here, just like on a car jack, tighten her down. And now as I pump this, it's going to draw that a die or whatever through to create our knockout. It's a few pumps, but it's, it's very easy to do. There's no pressure, no force I'm having to use. It's creating all the pressure. So, once you hear that, it's two pops. And we can release the pressure here so that you'll see our cylinder come back out. Now we got free space. And what you'll find is two portions that it knocked out. So now that we have that size hole, on this case we're actually going to go a step bigger and what we did is we found it easier to use the small knockout instead of having to drill that large of a hole. Um, remove this attachment shaft and then to the larger size here. Um, again, the, sh the shorter length of threads is the threads you'd actually put it into the cylinder. Um, that gives you more adjustment out here. Your Again, your first punch was just to make room for that make shaft to make your larger punch. Okay. You grab one inch, and to open this our uh, previous hole up to a one inch size. On the outside of the cabinet, we have adapter, spacer sleeve, our cup, and then our cutting knockout tool here. Come through the cabinet. Come on the inside. Thread it. Try to get it centered with uh, where you want it. Tension on it. Close the valve. And run the jack. Release. Cylinder here. Comes back out. Gives you your free play. Spin off the cutter. And there's the rest of your hole. Nice clean round hole here. So now we can run a fitting in it. Any type of fitting we want through that's that size, so this is what we're using for this. Um, we can come through just with our threaded portion here. And then we got a, a nut that goes on the back side here. We'll put on, tighten down, get it. and then on the outside here we'll be able to secure this cable and it'll be a nice tight, tight seal. And uh, great, good to go. All right, thank you. No problem. Let's <laughs> go.